Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue going on through the homework or the test problems. Okay, so here we have, okay, actually, it's over here. We have the exam. So I can leave this up here, I think. Go to idle, and move that over to a new file. And move that over. Okay. So yeah, this one, this problem three, it's probably the, the simplest of, of the programs, I would imagine. Okay. So again, you need some comments, which should be um, your name, and this is the ransom note program or function, whatever. You should put more than that. You get the idea. Okay. We always need our def main. All main, okay. So this one says we're going to create a program that allows a user to input a string of words or characters, okay. So we can go ahead and do that. We're doing it piece by piece here. So we're going to say um, I don't know uh, whatever variable we want. Uh, C for characters is equal to input. Enter some words or characters. Straightforward enough. So we're going to have that, okay? <clears throat> and then we're going to write a function called ransom note that will take that string as an input. Okay, so come back down here, do a def <clears throat> ransom note. Putting eats on everything today. Okay, it's going to take some string, okay? So what this function is going to do, it's going to take a string as input, it's going to return it with all the vowels as uppercase, everything else as lowercase. Okay, so we can start. So our first job here is to convert S to lowercase. Okay, we can do that with an S is equal to S dot uh, lower. Okay, <clears throat> I think it's called lower. It's too lower in some language, but I feel that it's lower in, in, uh, in Python. We'll see. If not, we'll have an error. Okay. So once we've done that, then we can just, let's just print that out. We can do that. So let me go ahead and call this, and this should return a string. So I can just print <clears throat> ransom note C. Okay. So I don't want to print there. Instead, do a return S. Okay, see if that works. Call this Q3. So I'm just enter. Love it. It doesn't like ransom note. So let's see why here. Well, because I didn't spell it correctly. It's funny how that works. It's late in the day. Bad time to do things. Hello there. Just takes takes those off. Okay, so we, I was correct that it is um, just the lower. Okay, so now the the basic idea here is that we're going to um, go through the string letter by letter, and <clears throat> we're going to create a new string based on the old one. So. We can just call our new string ns, doesn't matter. It could be a blank string. Okay, that's where it's going to start. Okay, and then once we have the new string, as we go through the old string, okay, so we can do a for ch ns. Hold on a second, so I put my puppy in the chair, so she'll be good. Come here, puppy. Oh, okay, she no longer wants it. Puppies are fickle, okay? So I'm going to go through for each character, okay? And I want to write it out to this new string. My puppy's being difficult. I want to write it out to the new string, but if it's a vowel, I want to make it uppercase, okay? So we can just get the mechanisms of it just making the new string if we want, okay? So again, I can let ns be equal to whatever ns was plus 
the ch. Okay, that's just going to repeat the string. Okay. I'm actually going to have to pause the video to go deal with my puppy. I'll be back in just a second. You won't even know that I'm gone. Okay, so the puppy is now sorted. Okay, so we're now creating this NS. So let's just go ahead and print out this NS down here. Okay, just to make sure that that part is working. Okay, and I'm not going to print that out at the moment because it doesn't matter. So let me run this. And there are, of course, always lots of ways to do this. So I'm going to do hello there. It should give me the same thing it didn't print out. Got to see why it didn't print out. Okay, so let's see here. Didn't give me an error either, which is interesting. So as I'm coming down here, NS should be, oh, because I'm not calling ransom note. That makes sense. Try it again. We'll print it twice. Should, basically. Yeah, print it out twice. Okay, so that part seems to be working. Okay, so we've, we've got all the continents covered, consonants covered already. Okay, so now it's just a matter of, of here that we're going to have to check to see. Okay, if CH is equal to A, they're all lower, so we made them lower, so we don't have to worry about the other A. Okay, then NS is going to be equal to NS plus. Okay, ch dot upper. Okay, and that should be able, that should convert that string into um, an uppercase character. Okay, so let's just run that and make sure that we have an A there and see if we get the capital A. If not, then we, it's not worth doing the other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to run this one now. Invalid syntax, what doesn't it like? Oh, because I forget that. At least it warns me. Okay, so I want to say hello there. Okay, and yeah. Um, oh, actually, interesting. It seems to be doing the capital A plus a regular A. We'll have to look into that, see what it's doing. But at least we got the capital A. Okay. Oh, because I've left this in. That's exactly why that's doing it. This should be in the else. If there's an else, if it doesn't match any of these, it's that. Okay, let's test that one more time. I should fix that issue. Bad spelling to force a point. Yeah, the A's are working now without the extras. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so go back to here. So now it's just a matter of copying these. So in fact, I could say if CH is equal to A or CH is equal to E, two equals, or CH is equal to I or CH equal to O or CH equal to U. Any of those cases, we're going to put the uppercase, else we're doing the lowercase. But now instead of printing, we're just going to return that NS. Okay. Run this one. We'll be nearly there. The module. Yep. So I'm going to do. Let's just do hello, A E I O U. Yeah, and it has correctly worked. Okay, so that part is good. Okay, so now we can worry about our, our exceptions here. Okay, so I'm moving everything over, uh, putting in a try. Oh, we forgot there is something else we got to worry about. Let's do this first though, while we're thinking about it. Okay. We have a try, we have an accept. Um, what do we need for an accept? Not much. We could have an index error because we are going through, um, we're going through a list. I don't think we're going to get that. Okay, because we don't have, there's no file, so we don't need that. There's no, um, should need a value error. We should need index errors, all I can think of that. And that's kind of a stretch. So we're probably okay on that. Okay. But what I didn't think about here are 
preconditions and postconditions. Okay. So here we're going to have our preconditions. It's just that S is a string. Okay. Which is easy enough to say if not s oh, is instance s string could be str str that's what I thought then we can go ahead and return error that's what it will print out back that'll return that um, back to the calling function okay um, I think it's the only precondition we have okay. That should still work. Shouldn't give us any error, we hope. So, A E I O U. Oh, is instance is not. Isn't that what that's called? Let's see, I always get that wrong. Oh, I did in instance. There we go. Should be is instance. I think I said that, I just didn't do it. Now it's purple, makes me happier. Okay. So do an A, we get a capital A back with no errors. That's good, okay? And then on the post conditions, this is where we may run into some other things. And you may have not gotten this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be wicked about that, um, I don't think, but it's worth thinking here as a post condition. That the length of NS is equal to the length of s. Okay, we're going to make sure it hadn't changed. If it's changed, which we would have noticed before when we added the extra a. Okay, so I can say here, I'm going to assert that the length of s is equal to the length of ns. Okay, which means I then have to add an assertion error. Okay, which again, remember, doesn't give us any error message at all. Um, string length not correct in function, something like that. Okay, so yeah, that that's all that should should do for us. So that shouldn't cause any issues when we run it. It should work okay. Inner gobbledygook. Yeah, looks like it works. Okay, so I think we're good. I think that's all we need to do. Okay, and again, this assertion, you may have not solved that. That would be okay either way. Okay, okay, so um, that should do it for problem three. Again, as always, if you have questions, make sure that you let me know.